And, and it will. It will. Because life and, and death trauma, is right here. That's right. And the trauma will kill you. And it just tells you how to take care of all that kind of stuff. And I well, just. Well, how do I take care of trauma? Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse the spirit of trauma. I command it to be gone in Jesus' name. Any form of grief, loss, betrayal, any of that stuff, whatever it is in particular, specifically toward you, you know, like I may have felt betrayal. You may have not had betrayal. I had abandonment. My natural father left me before I was born. All those different things, uh, being molested, any of those guilt that comes with it, that mm -hmm. I'm the one that made the, the, the person molest me. All those things. I prayed and prayed and prayed for somebody and they, they died, you know, and you take on that guilt, the false responsibility. All this book talks about how to get rid of it. And it's a whole, whole lot simpler than you can imagine. It's just a simple prayer. And the prayers are in there and it has Father in the name of Jesus, I, and then, and then you know, it'll have a space to put your name, my name, somebody who's hurt you. It's, it's got all that in there. The one thing you said you prayed for somebody and they died, that was devastating to you? It's majority of people, I mean, I have, I have people that I pray for all the time and that, that get healed oh. and upon, <laughs> yeah, and upon occasion they die, but it's not my fault. It's not That's my right. prayer that made them die. Right. And there's because a whole lot, praying right. The word. But people, people is like, I'm not going to pray for anybody else because everybody I pray for doesn't get healed or they die. Well, you know what? We need to get rid of that stinking thinking. Yeah. Because look at all the ones that do get healed. I know it. And just praise God for what he does do. And he does it every time. And, and when you pray for people and they don't get healed, if you will add just praying and cursing the spirit of trauma, it will add the just percentage of the people that you pray for get healed. It will just make it go just way up high, which is awesome because many times trauma can actually withhold your healing because it may not be physical. It may be that your body's been traumatized. You can even, even Google cell memory and it will tell you how the, the cells of your body will remember these things throughout your entire life. But when you pray, no, wait, it goes no, wait, away. No, wait, no, wait. You Google cell memory. Cell memory. And then what do you do? Well, you can just read about it to prove oh. what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. You, you, what you do about it is in here. It's stuck with you for life according to Google and medical science. But here, what this does, it tells you how to just completely, completely get rid of it. Isn't that awesome? That is. We're going to talk about that when we come back. Because I, you know, I know people that go through stress and all kinds of stuff. But and it you gives you wrinkles and, and gray hair and everything. Everything. Yuck. You don't need that. No. We need to be free. Yes. And free at yeah. last. The Power to Heal by Joan Hunter. It's a book, one of maybe three or four of her books, and uh, of healing the sick. So don't go away. We're going to tell you a whole lot more when we come back. Noted author and teacher Joan Hunter brings you her powerful new book, Power to Heal, full of dynamic truths that will minister to and set free those afflicted in their body and spirit with sickness and disease. In this book, Joan teaches you how to gain freedom from oppression, overcome the mistakes of your past, learn keys to true forgiveness, learn how to break generational curses and shatter the devil's authority. Discover how God has provided the authority you need to obtain miracles today. Power to Heal is available for this Buy the Book offer of $12.99. Simply call 888-725-8033 and request offer number 252. That's 888-725-8033. Request offer number 252. Buy the Book today. If you would like to receive your copy of today's edition of Buy the Book, please be sure to call 888-725-8033 and ask for today's offer number on the screen. DVDs are $14.95 plus shipping and handling and come with four total episodes per DVD. Order your DVD of Buy the Book today and call 888-725-8033. Welcome back to Buy the Book. I am your host, Dorothy Spalding, and we've been talking with my friend, Joan Hunter. And my friend, Dorothy. I, we've been having so, you know, we always have fun when we we're together. We do have a blast. But, you know, your mama and I were such close friends because when she would come to my city, I would be the one that would just wait on her. 
and here you are, my friend. Yes, that's and great. I, I love that. Well, um, you know, sometimes we think bad things happen to everybody else but us, but something just happened to your husband. Yes, and uh, we were getting ready to go to Haiti, and uh, we had to go get all of our shots and stuff, and this lady comes up to me and says, now are you, this is a nurse, are you ready? Are you really ready? Are you sure you're ready? And kept going, it was kind of weird, you know? And she goes, here we go, three, two, one, zero. Bam, gave him the shot. I mean, it was like, it treated him like a child. It was very strange. And so that was, was like, okay, he goes, the strangest thing happened to me while I'm getting my shot. This is like mid-February. Well, in the beginning of February, God gave me the revelation to start laying hands on him for God to prosper him. I believe in prophesying yes. the scriptures. Everything I lay my hand to do shall prosper. We know that scripture. I point to the mirror and I say, everything that you touch today is gonna prosper. So I talk about everything I touch today is gonna prosper. Everything I touch oh, today yeah. is gonna prosper. Just go right ahead. Yes, and, and watch me television, and, you know, the whole bit and, and the whole network and all that we're doing and everything I put my hand to do shall prosper. So I start laying hands all over my husband going, everything I put my hand to do shall prosper. And I start laying hands on him. It's about the beginning of February middle of February, something like that. And then all of a sudden, um, he goes into his office, March 2nd, 2010, 3210. And he walks off and says, we need your badge. Today's your last day. God bless you. Goodbye. After 16 years of working for this company. Wow. And, and we've been praying over the last four and a half years, when should he quit so that he could travel with me? And for the last two years, now you know your job's in jeopardy. You know you probably won't have your job next week. You know, and he's got, still, he's got four kids, four boys, and two of them in college and two of them in high school. So he's still supporting them and so forth. And so it was like three, two, one. And then he's like, you know, you, you hear this for two years where well, they're laying off 50,000 people and you know you're probably gonna be one of those. So you have this stress going on. I said, just keep a positive attitude. Don't let stress come in because it will affect your body you know, and make sure your heart is clear of trauma, da, 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 da. But it was still traumatizing to him when they come and tell him. And they, I mean, they said, get your things, yeah. we're escorting you out. And it's like, I mean, come on. I mean, he hadn't done anything wrong. It's just they didn't need that position anymore. And uh, and so, you know. And isn't that sad? Get your things, we're escorting you out. Oh, I've yeah. I've come back and forth to work here a thousand 16 times. 16 years. 16 years. Never and, done anything wrong. And now I have to be escorted out of right. the building. And then they, in turn, they do not, This it's a massive company, one of the largest companies in the world, and they um, they don't give severance packages nothing. They gave him a nice severance package and an insurance bonus and this and that. We're like, hallelujah. He's got more money than he's ever had in his entire life. <laughs> God's fulfilled the word. And you know, and then, and I, so I gave him a few days off and then he started working for the ministry. And he's, he, I left him at home this, these two days of while I was gone, just so he could sleep and do laundry. Cause I'm used to this travel. Sleep and do laundry. <laughs> you know, and, uh, but the thing is, is that no matter what happens, God will take it, turn it around, make a miracle out of it. Because yes. see, his job was not his source. No. God is his source and you can kind of go in a panic. What if I lose my job? What if I lose my job? And you sweat and you panic. You have heart problems. You have, you have this, you have acid reflux, you have all that kind of stuff. But you know, God's in control. Yes, Father, I give you my job. I lay my job on the altar. Another yes, one. Yes. And I have all these prayers in this book, Power to Heal. It's like, Father, I can't fix my husband. God, you know I've tried, you know. Yeah. And I have people coming to me, it's like, I can't fix my children. I can't fix my husband. Or I can't fix my wife and different things like that. And, and so uh, anyway, when you put him on the altar and let God do it, and then people try to get him back off the altar, slap him up a little yeah. bit and put him back. Well, when if you do that, you're trespassing on God's property. So wow. leave him on the altar, let God take care of it. And I have in, in my book, uh, Healing the Heart, my other book, I talk about putting my girls on the altar mm -hmm. and uh, because of things that they did and that their father tried to get him to, tr got him to do, not tried to get him to do, but got him to do and, you know, and different things. And I'm like, I was a wreck. And I put him on, 